Okay. So I'm recording now. So this is for the assignment to procedural level. Um, I use some of the code from class, but I also use some of the code from these different tutorials and some of my own code um, to build an endless train uh, with the hierarchical generator. I used my one from last week. Um, a tree generator for different elevations. And I added something so you could walk. Okay. So over here you can see I just use the FPS controller from the standard assets. It's the easiest thing to just help me walk around. Um, I'm going to mute its audio just so then we don't hear, hear it uh, walk around. So here's the kind of just thing that generates the level. Um, I have multiple scripts that generate either just a 10x10 10 10 of the level. Um, this one just makes one train and then this generates the infinite level. Um, in the tutorials it has plane and player, but I added a level object here just so that I could store all of the pieces of the level underneath here instead of uh, just having like a ton of stuff in the hierarchy. Um, then there's the tree pool and character pool, which are the things that hold the max amount of trees, which I forget, it's either 250 or 1,000. I set it to some number. Um, take some of the prefabs based off them. And again, these hold, I made it so instead of everything showing up in the hierarchy, it goes under these. Um, as stated earlier, the character is the same generator from last week, but I edited it a bit so then uh, it automatically does the randomization instead of uh, having to click a button. Um, again, scripts for the different things. The generators. Um, Here's my level tile, which has the tile generation script, and then the stuff to generate the characters and what and trees on it. Um, and yeah, so let's come into it. And it looks kind of blue just because I added a fog, so you don't really see the generation as it's happening. Um, let me go to. Well, I'll keep this here. So, as a, you can see, like I said, there's a fog, so you can only see so far. And on the right side, oh, let me turn around. On the right side, you can see the world moving, um, doing the infinite terrain. And I did the one where you have blue at the bottom that goes up to green, which goes up to brown. Um, based on the height, and then I did also add a plane to the bottom of my level tile that kind of clips through a little bit. Um, that ends right where the blue is almost ending, just so then it looks, I made it clear so it looks like there's like water. Um, that was a nice little touch. Um, so like I said before, so I have these trees that are being generated, so the lowest level trees are small, have all their leaves few branches then if you go up to the next level like this one has a couple branches missing some leaves there and uh, then if you go up to the highest level ones it's just really big wooden logs almost um, also like if I run over here and then go back it will be generated again and have the exact same uh, sets of trees. And then these characters are randomly generated. I have a Perlin noise on them, and then also a um, random range. So I believe it's like when the Perlin noise, after I did all the calculations, is 
greater than 5.5 and random range from 0 to 100 is less than 10, so like 10%, um, which is still a lot of times. Um, they will generate a person, um, and, and it, it will be in a random spot. So like, these people will move, the trees stay the same every time you generate the land, like I said earlier. Um, and then also the, since the characters move, I have it so they get randomly generated. Um, so each one has either their arms in a T pose, an A pose, or if I can find it, um, sort of an X pose with their legs also, like last week. And they're just randomly generated with their colors and parts. Um, I believe that hits all the bases. I will go back here. So yeah, there was the endless train with the water. Um, and it was colored and everything to make it look nice. A hierarchical object generator, which was my character's. Um, which they were placed noisily with some randomness. Um, so it made a nice little effect of them like moving around and not being in the same place twice. Um, tree generator, which puts them based on their elevation, and like when you leave and come back, they'll be the same place, same trees uh, generated each time, um, using their pools for both the character and the tree and I can walk around um, so I'll just show this one more time maximized uh, right now I'm outside because inside my house is too loud so you might hear some birds in the background. Um, but yeah. First little attempt at a infinite generator.